As you know, we are about to embark on understanding Bereshoth 1. But before we do that, there are a few mis- a few things, misunderstandings that need to be addressed. Here are three things that you need to know as we read and understand Yahuwah's scripture. Ath and Yath. So, um, the word Ath has been misapplied throughout the years, maybe last five, six years. People have been saying that Ath is an epithet for Yahua, meaning the beginning and the end. But this is in no way the truth. And I want to end this. So this here is um, Bereshiath verses one through three and a little bit of verse four. And what I want to show you here circled is two words, Ath, which is Alp, Thu, or Aleph, Tav, and Yath, which is Yod, Tav, or Yathu. And you see how many times just within the first three, the beginning of four scriptures, how many times this is used. And people say, well, every time you see Ath, Um, That means that that stands for Yahuwah's name and that's the beginning and the end. And if you look, if I were to pick some other scriptures, there are too many times where you see Ath all throughout the scriptures for each and every time to be in reference to Yahuwah. Not only that, um, there's actually um, word, there actually means something and you can find each of these words in scripture which is what I'm going to show you right now. So Ath, you, there's a Strong's number right there. It literally means a sign. Now, um, the concordance says it's from the word Auth, which there's a Strong's number there, and it means a monument or a beacon. But in reality, Auth is, Ath is the root word, and Auth is um, the present tense of the word. Okay, so there's Ath, and that's literally what it means. It has nothing to do with Yahweh's name or with him being the beginning of the end. It's just a sign. Um, Second of all, here's Yath, which is a derivative. It's actually an Aramaic version of Ath. And it, it is a sign also, but it refers to the verb. So when we talk about words like Yahud, Yath, Yath is a sign of Yahud, and Yahud is the verb. Yahud means to pray. So if you were to look up uh, Yahuda, one of Yasharel's sons, his mother Leah says, um, Yahu, I give Yahu a praise. I've, I got another son, another man. So that's an action word. Um, I wanted to say this because it's gotten too far, and actually it started... Um, this is the verse that it is referenced from, which is in Kazun or Revelation. Kazun means um, vision. And it's this verse where it says, Yahweh says, I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end and the first and the last. But <clears throat> I want to, I'm not saying that Yahweh is not the beginning or the ending or the first and the last. I'm saying that Yahweh is bigger than this. Okay, bigger, way bigger. That's putting him in a little tight little corner. No, Yahweh is way more than just the beginning and the end. And the beginning and the end has to do with time. And Yahweh is outside of time. And I'm going to show you that right here. Yahweh is greater than what you think he is. So three verses that Yahweh refers to time as something to be used. So here in Bereshoth 18, 14, he tells uh, Abraham that Sarah will have a son in the next year according to the time of life. In 2 Kings, he adds on um, to Kazakia's, uh years, 15 of them. Because he was sickly and on his death. Um, it's the same story, but um, it's also recorded in Yahshua 38 8. And he tells him as a sign, he going to reverse the day about 10 degrees. He going to reverse the sun in the sky about 10 degrees, which works out to about 20 minutes. So what I'm saying is, yes, Yahuwah is our beginning and our end because we are within time. But Yahuwah is not the beginning or the end. Yahuwah is forever. Okay? Forever. 
So now the next thing I want you to keep in mind as we go into this is multiple uh, definitions. So as we read scripture, many Yahudith words and verses and phrases will have more than one meaning. So in Bereshia 32, 28, and he said, this is Yahweh, your name shall no, ball, no more be called Yaakov, but Yasharel. For as a prince, you have power, Alua or alls, and with men, and you have prevailed. So here is um, one meaning for the definition of Yasharel. For as a prince, you have power with G-O-D and with men, and you have prevailed. All right, so Yashar all, and I'm going to break this up because it's more than one word using a two-letter root in Yahudith, Yashar all. So here's the Strong's numbers for each word. Obviously, Yah, meaning Yahua, right? That's Strong's H, um... 3050 and then we have Shar which that's Prince okay and that's the Strong's number H 8280 and then all all means mighty or to be mighty or mighty one um, it's usually it can be referred to men also although most times it's re in reference to uh, men but Yashar all that's literally what that verse meant Yahweh's Prince Yahweh and men, you shall struggle and prevail against GODs and men, right? Now, Yasharal also has a second meaning, and it's this one here. And I broke it up into just two words, Yashar and all. Yashar, as in Jasher, the book of Jasher is named after this word. It means upright. And there's the Strong's number right there for you to look up. And then again, all same, same Strong's number, meaning mighty. So in Yasher all, it means the upright mighty ones. All right. So it's Yasher all and Yasher all. And both are true in Jacob's name, right? In in Yasharal's name. Both are true. And you'll see this a lot in scripture. So the last thing that I want to talk about. And I did allude to. Is the two letter root system. Um, I've had this up for years. I've, um, I have videos on this. With the alphabet for years. I think it's got to be at least eight years old. Not many people look at it. Not pe many people mention it. Or identify it. But as you can see here on this chart. Uh, modern Israeli, what people call modern Hebrew, they use a three letter root. So the word that we just looked at, Yashar, that would have been the whole word. But the root word to Yashar is Shar, which is a two letter root. So in original Yahudith, where you think this three letter root, no. Usually a word has a two letter root and there's a prefix and or a suffix and all there could be what I call an insert a, a tense usually it's the ya or the u or the yod in the in the wa as y'all know it put in the middle of the word to describe a tense but the root word is two letter roots and I just actually went over that when I broke down yashir all um each of those words were two letters. Those were the main root words. Now, some people say, oh, that's the mother root, the parent root. Um, and then there's child roots, but it's a two letter root word. And you will see this come in play as we go through the ch first chapter of Bereshiath. And I just wanted to share that with you. Now, um, please go and look. It's a two part series. This is the first what it looks like a playlist and then here's the second one rule four i actually break down the rules how to get to a root word so please take a look at this if you have any questions you can contact me at yahoo direct at mail.com and please subscribe